Hey guys, what's up? It's lunchtime on client work day and nothing too fancy, but since I can't share that with you, I thought, why don't I answer some of the questions that you guys have been asking on Twitter. So Sandra asks, I have a question. What do you deliver when you're doing a branding project? Do you write a brand story or only design things? Hey Sandra, what's up? So I guess it depends on what the project is and who the client is. I usually don't write proper brand stories. Um, I guess that's mostly for corporate or big companies. I don't know what a small company or a startup would do with a brand story. But what is super important is that when you present your design work, you do that in a manner of a story because you can't just show a logo or some final design. It has to be in the context of who this company is and how you got to this idea. And by telling a story about the company, about the creative idea that led you to this solution, you get a much more uh, better response from the client and they get to you know, emotionally connect with your design. So in that sense, I always try to tell a story. Anath asks, hey, sorry for bothering, but maybe you can make a little video about Adobe After Effects, Parallax, or something like that. Hey, Anath, what's up? We don't have to be sorry, but the truth is that I'm not that good at After Effects. I only know like the basic stuff and I've watched some tutorials, but I'm not really good at it. So I'm probably not the best one to teach you that. Morgan asks, can I ask why you started in Sketch? Why don't you just design in Webflow? Hey Morgan, what's up? Actually, that question has been coming up a lot, so maybe it's good if I try to explain a little bit more. Uh, Webflow is actually not a design software. It's more of a development software. So you, you kind of have to build stuff in a logical way logical meaning uh, like it's built on HTML and CSS so the structure has to be right and when you build it logically and structurally right it's not very easy to try uh, different things to change locations quickly change you know sizes and uh, colors because if you build it properly with you know proper styles and everything then it's not very fast and intuitive to try to change several things so that's why sketch is much more fast to try different results and try different designs and when I come up with a design that I really like and I think that it's a good design then I only implement the design in uh, Webflow and then it's really very fast to implement the design. And one more thing I forgot to mention when I recorded this is that when you work in Webflow you can design icons or export images and assets in the size that you need them so you have to create them first in Sketch and only then move them to Webflow. All right, back to work and then to meet my client. So another week is officially over and uh, this weekend is going to be kind of a hustle because I have to work a lot for the branding project. Uh, I have to present it on Monday and that's actually exactly one week since I started the project so I think it's kind of the quickest in my branding project I ever did, only one week to work on it. Um, and so far I've been only sketching ideas, so this weekend I really have to get down to work, do the design and uh, get the project done actually. Um, I don't know if I'm stressed out or excited about it, but we'll see how I feel next week. Anyway, hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you next week.